لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير واشهد ان محمدا عبد الله ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه ومن تبعه باحسان الى يوم الدين فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي نبينا وحبيبنا وقائدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ايها المسلمون اعلموا ان الجنه حق وان النار حق وان الله يبعث من في القبور اما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القران الكريم بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون انصروا الله سبحانه وتعالى خلص في سوره النساء بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا الله سبحانه وتعالى في في سوره الاحزاب يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما. My dear brothers and sisters, I began by saying all praises, all gratitude, and all thanks belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we seek refuge in Allah from the sin that we commit and the faults within ourselves. Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, no one could misguide, and whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is astray, no one could guide. We bear witness there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we bear witness indeed Prophet Muhammad alayhi after Muslim Salam is final and his last messenger. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless Prophet Muhammad and his family and his companion and whoever follow him until the judgment day of all many. I shared with you a couple of verses from the Holy Quran, the first verse of the Surah Ali Amran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us all you believe. Fear Allah as you should be feared that and die not unless you are in a state of Islam. The second verse I shared with you from Surah uh, Al-Nisa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us all mankind. When he says all mankind, he's calling on everyone he created regardless of Muslim or not Muslim. That means something is quite important is coming. Always when you see Yahya Nuh and Nasu, pay attention to what is coming right after. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us all mankind, fear your Lord, the one who created you from one single soul. And for a moment he created his mate. And for both of them, he created multiple men and women. And fear your Lord and do not cut the relationship of the womb. Allah is watching you. And then Surah Al-Ahzab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, oh, you believe. Fear Allah and say the truth. And if you do so, he will correct and forgive your bad deeds. And whoever obey Allah and his messenger will, uh, will achieve a great success. My dear brothers and sisters, today of course, inshallah, will be about men, women, and women. Who are the believers? Who are they? And also, men, women, and women. Are we among them or we are a little bit different? So we're going to be talking about, about that. And my dear brothers and sisters, and Iman and Tukmin Billah, wa malaikati wa kutubi wa nusri wa yawmi lakir wa tukmin bil qadari khayrihi wa sharrihi. Which is that believers are the one who believe in Allah and His angels and His books and His prophets and Judgment Day and Allah has decreed whether you see it positive or negative. To men, women, we see more than your brother and sister. We know that Islam is built on five pillars, which is a shahada and then the five daily prayer and to give zakah and fast 
fasting in Ramadan and performing Hajj. This is the Muslim. So, my dear brothers and sisters, being a movement requires higher degree level of righteousness in order to serve as movement. It's a higher rank than Muslim. And uh, also, I would like to let you know about the movement. And movement, brother and sister, is internal between you and your creator, Allah. No one could tell if you are true movement or not. But we can tell from if somebody walking in the street wearing a hat like me, or a lady, she's wearing a hijab, you could say that's Muslim. Yes, but the Iman, the level of Iman inside each individual, the only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's the one who knows who the true Muslim and true Muslim is. So, you know, we see and we hear there's a lot of Muslim, unfortunately, they, uh, they uh, drink alcohol and they have the title and Muslim. And they eat pork. And some of them they come with dinner. And some of them they lie and cheat. And they still have the title of a Muslim. So the movement is a higher guard. It is very difficult for them to do this when the Iman re-enter their heart. And the only, as I mentioned, said, um, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I would like to share with you from Surah al hijrah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he talks about that. Respect to the judge. And this is a human being. And also another time 
I was 10 and I was unable to stand straight because my back hurts. And I was 10 and leaning to the left and then the bailiff comes and says, stand straight. Front of who? A human being, a judge. Stand in front of Allah. Who you, who you have more fear of? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember, my dear brother and sister, when you do your kushur completely and focus on your salah, therefore you can get the ultimate reward. Now, uh, also when we are praying sometimes, some of us, they pray so fast. And uh, like when you are leaning on the prostrate on the ground and you say, subhanahu wa ta'ala, you say it so fast that it could be one or two and that's it. Or, and no, take your time.
about homeless or no job, nothing. And then you can be excused from Hajj because the man is Allah and you can be excused also from fasting because your health is not allowing you. But when it comes to Salah, if, even if you are laying on your back in the bed in the hospital, you still go to pray. Even if there is no water, you still go to pray. So there is no excuse. How are you, what are you going to tell Allah? And remember, the first thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would ask you in the judgment day is good. What do you do about my salah? So remember, salah is very, very important. This is what it really differentiates us from the kafir. So, brothers and sisters, also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al Nisa, I'd like to share that with you. فَإِذَا قَضَيْتُمُ الصَّلَاةَ فَاذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ قِيَامًا وَخُرُوزًا وَعَلَى جُنُوبِكُمْ فَإِذَا اطْمَأْنَنْتُمْ فَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ فَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ كَانَتْ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ كِتَابًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you finish your salah, continue remembering Allah, sitting, laying down, standing, continue remembering Allah, and you must pray on a timely manner, which is called in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now after this, we do all what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what do we deserve? Ula'ika humil walidu. You will become the inheritors. What is it? What is going to be Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to tell you in the following verse, Al-Ladheena yarithoon al-firdawsahu fiya khalidu, khalidu. So your reward is going to be al-firdaws al-a'la, and you're going to be in it, khalidu, it means forever. If you are true mu'min, if you are true Muslim, and then your destination, according to Allah, and according to Surah Al-Mu'minun, uh, you're going to be in heaven, inshallah, Allah ja'ala. And also toward the end of Surah Al Muqtadun, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us how I'm going to judge you. So this is nothing hidden. He's telling you how you can be moment and how to get to Firdaus al A'la. And also I'm in the same surah, I'm telling you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, How I'm going to judge you. He tells us basically, I'm going to put your good deeds in one side of the scale and your bad deeds in the other side of the scale. If your good deeds weigh more, and then you will go to heaven and he will overlook your bad deeds. And the same thing in the reverse. And I'm going to share that with you from Surah Al-Mu'mun by the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. فَمَنْ تَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمِ الْمُفْتِحُونَ وَمَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ خَسْرُوا أَنْ فُسَهُ فِي جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدُونَ So this is exactly what I was describing here. And then you're going to say, God, give me another chance. And please give me another chance. There's no another chance, my dear brother and sister. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remind you of the following verse that I'm going to share with you. Tutla alaykum. Fakuntum biha kadibun. Then my verse used to be recited to you and you used to deny. So there's no excuse. Now we heard it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remind you of today. You have heard it. You know what you ignored it. So do your best to please Allah. Now, you need to increase your good deed to make sure your scale is heavy of the good deed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al-Qur, Inna al-hasanati yudhidna sayyiyat. The little dhikra in the Qur'an. The good deeds erase bad deeds. You could increase from your good deeds, you will get rid of the bad deeds. And then by performing your salah, you fast more, you help the masajid, you help the needy, you give more zakah, more than what you really should. Uh, the, all this and more and more that you could do to increase your good deeds. And also on daily basis, calculate how much you have earned today when you're laying down in your bed at night. Look at how many, how many good deeds did I earn today and how many bad deeds did I also have on my scale today. And see if you are ahead of the game or not or you are breaking even. Don't play you always be ahead in your good deeds. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إن الله هو الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وخاتم الأنبياء. Sayyidina Muhammad Abdullah and Rasul. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's world, we're facing so many challenges, so many hurdles we have to get over, so many tasks we're going through. Some of them are very, very difficult, and some of them are mild, and some of them are very easy. It depends on each person. So when this happens, sometimes we say, Ya Allah, what did I do? 
Allah is upset with me. But if there is something, I did something wrong, and you start thinking. Or maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is preparing you for something better. So do not give up. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do massive dua when you face this calamity, when you face these difficulties. I want to share with you as a reminder what we have been seeing almost on a daily basis in television, Maui in Hawaii. Look at what happened to our brother and sister in Maui. They lost everything overnight. It used to be a tropical island, looks like heaven on earth. Beautiful. And now it looks like a war zone. Everything is burned, the car is burned, the homes is gone, and people die, and people are suffering from burn, and animals die, and everything looks like it's been deserted and what is a bomb. Gone there and it had been lit overnight. No warning, no warning. So, my dear brother and sister, we're not immune from this could happen to us in California. So, get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember those brother and sister in your dua. Remember them in your dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for them. Allah Almighty, let me share with you about, about this from Surah Al Baqarah, about this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He told us, he's going to test us. We're going to go through what we are going through right now. Surely we will test you with bits of fear. Surely we have a lot of it, and we have a lot of it. And hunger, and they, have, they were struggling to find water. And lives and fruits and give glad tidings to the patient. And in the following verse, Al Ladina Ida Asafat who will see but who call in Nadi wa in na in a Yuraion. So my dear brother and sister, when you face this calamity, always remember Allah is not only in death, even if you lose anything. So say in na Nadi wa in a Yuraion, truly to Allah we belong and truly we shall return. And remember, dua, my dear brother and sister, is ibadah. When you raise your hand and ask your hand of my human wa'ala ta'ala, you are recognizing that he is the power, that he is Allah, he is the giver, he is the provider, he is the sustainer. When you raise and you turn to Allah and you ask him for, for things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us in Surah uh, Al-Mu'min, by the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wa qala rabbukum idhuni astajillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala combined a, a dua and an ibadah in one verse. So a dua, believe me, and read what you've been reading and hearing is when you raise Allah in your head and ask for Allah is ibadah. So ask him for everything you need. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, will respond to you when he knows that you are ready to receive what you are asking for. Some of us, we give up and get so upset. I've been asking for a child for the last five years, and my wife cannot get pregnant. And then you get so frustrated. Allah, you, you told us that a Gronia said you have it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will do it when he knows the time is right. Or maybe he knows that you're not cooked, and it's going to be harmful for you if you have a child. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he knows what's best for us. And then also, when you when you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he might like names uh, to use them. Like, for example, if you if you want a child, say, Ya Wahab, the steward. Okay? And then if you want, uh, if you're facing challenges, Ya Rahim. Okay, if you're ill and someone is ill, say, Ya Shafi, the healer. Okay, if you need money, Ya Ghani. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Al Ghani, you are to our So he is the rich. He is the one he can give. And also, my dear brother and sister, the best time to do dua is Yawm al Jum'ah, between uh, Al Asr and Al Maghrib. And also, a sujood, when you say it. And also, the best time 
is when you are breaking fast in Ramadan or outside of Ramadan. Back the salawat in Fajr to use good times and beautiful times. Also, when you do good deeds, if you help a needy in the street and you give him food, right after you do dua, or if you help a masjid or put money in the, in, in the box, do dua right after that. Any after any good deeds followed with dua, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept it from you, inshallah. And also, one of the dua that I, I like most a lot, and I repeat it, and I would like to ask you to remember it and use it and utilize it, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept from Surah Ibrahim alayhi uh, salam. And I will show you, I will like to share this with you. This is very generous dua if you understand it. Let me share with you this way to understand fully what is the dua here. Oh my Lord, make me one of the people who salah. He asked uh, about himself first. And also of my offspring, my children, to be to follow you and to also to pray like you. And also, oh our Lord, forgive me. He asked for himself. And my parents, my mom and my, my, my dad. And also all the believers, which is all of us. Look at how generous Prophet Ibrahim is. Rabbi ja'alni min muqeem wa salat wa min duriyat. Rabbana wa taqabbal dua. Rabbana akbir li. Wa li walidayn. Wa li mu'mineen. Yawma yaqoom al hisab. So beautiful to write, to memorize it, and utilize it, and say it out of your heart. Knowing me that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He hears you and He sees you. إن الله عليك يصلنا على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وقال ربكم ادعوني أستجب لكم وإن أوصوا أمر الدنيا أو ما تشيرون وإن يدو دعاء ربنا رب ربنا ربي if you do a search in the Holy Quran you will find all the prophets all the messengers they use it, Rab, Rabbi, Rabbana, and it's followed with dua. And inshallah, you're gonna hear it from uh, uh, Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin, if he leads the salah, you will see that in the, the dua, always you will see Rab, Rabbi, Rabbana. Allahumma akhtu lil muslimin wal muslimat, al ahyai nur wal awlaan. Allahumma akhtu anna wa ala abayna wa umma hadira min a'adab Allah. Wa tawakkala ma'a al-qabar. Ya munazzil al-ma'a min al-sama. يا من قلت للنار قومي بردا وسلاما على ابراهيم اعفو عنا وارحمنا وتقبلنا واسع رحمتك يا رحمن الرحيم. ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد ان هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب. ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد ان هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب. ربنا اننا سمعنا مناديين ينادي للايمان ان امين بربكم فامنا. ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الاخرات. ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتوب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم. ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وفي عذاب النار. يا مجيب الدعاء يا الله يا مجيب الدعاء يا الله يا مالك يوم الدين يا قوي يا عزيز يا رحمن يا رحيم. ادخلنا الفردوس الاعلى بغير حساب. أدخلنا الفردوس الأعلى بغير حساب، عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى، وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي، يعدكم لعلكم تذكرون، اذكروا الله يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه الذي لكم، وأقم الصلاة إن الصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوفا.